Hi, welcome to my channel. This is your reading for the month of December. It's a general reading. Take us as resonate, leave the rest behind. No okay. care. Let's see. Let's get started. What do we have for you? Let's see. Okay, it's time for you to take action about the situation. I feel like you've been waiting for something. So wait is over. Focus on what you really want and go for it, okay? Let's see. The truth will be revealed about the situation. I feel like it's also thinking about your emotion. You're feeling very sensitive at this time. Let's see what's going on. What do you need to focus? I think it's very important for you to leave your past behind. To letting go of a situation because it's not serving you anymore. Something better is coming for you. Take a break, a pause, to see differently the situation with different perspective. With the aim man, it's like you've been feeling stuck or it was a breakup, a separation with someone. So there's a new opportunity coming for you. You can see it's interesting with this card because in this deck she can see as a true attraver, the mirror, okay. You are going to see clearly what is the best decision for yourself. Let's see. You have a lot of responsibilities. It's an heavy burden. You're working really hard. You're taking care of your family, of yourself. It's also important for you to take a break, a pause, or you need some help here. Let's see more what's going on. Something is going to end in your life. It's an accomplishment, success about the situation. But first, you need to be free. You're feeling stuck about the situation. Let's see what's going on. Feel like you need some help, definitely. With the two of pentacles, it's working on a project, a new idea, but not alone, in collaboration with others. If you really want to have abundance, stability, everything you want, you truly desire with the ten of pentacles, you need some help. You can do that alone, okay? You need support here. Let's see. for you to rest, to heal about the situation. Sagittarius energy, it's Sagittarius season. But these cards can be talking about a reconciliation. It's coming for you, okay? It's also finding a solution, transforming negativity in positivity, finding balance in your life. You can also meditate at this time. Let's see, just one more card. Change is coming for you. Look, it's on your side. Let's see. What's going on with the Ten of Wands? Ten of Wands is talking about responsibilities. King of Cups, someone is here for you. It's like your partner. This person has a lot of feelings for you. you can be talking about your husband, a friend of yours, a best friend, someone you can trust, someone very supportive and caring around you. Okay? 
Let's see, with some world cards. Some peace going to end, some accomplishment, end of a cycle in your way. Okay. It's a tree of soul. I feel like it's the end of a connection. Okay. Time for you to let it go and to heal here. Okay. It was a situation very painful, a difficult breakup or a difficult loss. It's your feeling pain. I really feel like you're feeling stuck about this situation. Making an important decision, a choice about your love life. Gemini energy. Okay. Like for some of you, someone betrayed you, was lying, chilling, stealing on you. It's not a good energy, the Seven of Swords. Can be talking about a third party situation. Okay, let's see more what's going on. Important for you to hear. With the Four of Swords. Okay. Like you are spending a lot of time alone. It's very good energy. It's a period of reflection. Let's see what's going on here. For some of you, there is a reconciliation coming for you. But you're feeling stuck. Like the situation is not going anywhere. For some of you, you are dealing with the Pisces, okay? Let's see what's going on. We have a change here. Important change coming for you. Success about the situation. Definitely for some of you, it's a reconciliation about this situation. Well, this person is not giving up on you and wants to have success with you, okay? going on. This person has a lot of feeling for you. Opportunity to have a reunion with this person for the month of December, okay? Because the garden card is going out, spending time with this person. Let's see. And this person is feeling upright without you. There is a lot of people talking about this situation. It's gossip or your friends, your family. Let's see what's going on here. You're feeling stuck. You're going to make an important decision here. Yeah. About your love life. So confirmation. Choose what is the best for yourself. With the Seven of Swords, it can be also talking about you're going to take a risk, okay? Because I really feel like you really want to have stability and abundance with this person. There is a lot of pentacles here. It's about stability. Family. Let's see what's going on. Time for you to choose a direction, okay? It's like a crossword in your life. It was very painful, this person be tried to. With a snake cut. Very important for you to hear. Let's see. This person wants to f find a solution here with temperance, but it's not taking action yet. Of the coffee, and it's like it's over. Let's see. Making a sacrifice. It's about having faith, destiny. For some of you, you've been married with this person, okay? Let's see more what's going on. 
A very challenging message. You have working really hard, really focus on your job. With court house, there is a contract, a judgment. Can be talking about also a job opportunity coming for you, okay? With a healthy man, I feel like it's a boss. Someone who's a good job, a good situation. Let's see. If you're looking for a job, definitely there is good opportunity coming for you, okay? It's like you are taking a risk, you're going to try something very different from your past. It's like a new direction in your career. But your job, your career, see you're very successful, but trying something new, different, okay? Because with the crossword, it's like you're choosing a new direction. Taking a risk, working in collaboration with others to have abundance and stability. Really feel like it's important for you just to focus on your goal, your objective. About your love life, it was a very difficult breakup here. For some of you, this person betrayed you with a friend of yours. You're going to make a decision about this connection. The truth will be revealed, okay? Let's see. An advice for you. You need to work through your feelings, every energy. Okay. Let's see more. A good message. By sign. Just three cards. Maybe it's going to help you about the situation. You can ask a question in your mind. Going on for areas, three cards. Good message for areas. Wow. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the Hermit card. For some of you, Aries, you are dealing with the vehicle. You are going to have stability and abundance in this connection, okay? But don't give up. You can be talking about it was a fight, a conflict between you two. But I can see stability and a reconciliation here, okay? Feel like you you are married with this person, with the ten of pentacles. For some of you, you have children also. Some for you to stay strong. You are going to fix the situation, areas. Okay. If you are asking something about a job, definitely it's a big yes. Abundance is coming for you. Let's see. A message for Thomas. What's going on? We have for Taurus. Taurus, your energy is showing up. Queen of Pentacles. Ah, you're feeling confused, Taurus. You have many options. Okay, interesting. We see Emperor cards. 
for some of you to us, you are dealing with an Aries. You can see, you're feeling stuck here, Taurus, not taking action. But definitely, success is coming for you, Taurus. It's like an entrepreneur energy. For some of you, you are creating your own business. It's a big yes if you're asking something. Just take action, okay? Because this card is confusion, is not taking action, time for you to make an important decision to have success here. For some of you, Taurus, you are a single man. You are someone very mature, you are taking care of your family. You are also very connected with nature, you love animals. Feel like you need to relax, to spend time in nature at this time, okay? It's going to be good for you. If you're asking something about your love life, Clarity is coming for you. Like you're dealing with someone very stable, successful. For some of you, this person has already children, let's say Emperor God, it's like a father figure, okay? But this person is very different from you, has a lot of authority and power, okay? And about your career, tell us, time for you to make a decision, okay? Big change coming for you, tell us, let's see. A message for Gemini. Quick message. What do we have for Gemini? Wow, Gemini, because it's um, some good news are coming for you. For some of you, opportunity to get pregnant. We have the page of salt. Can be talking about a boy coming in your family? In your family, I'm sorry. <laughs> and the lovers, your energy, interesting. For some of you, you are thinking about having a family with someone. Okay. If it's a question about a job, it's a big yes with the sun, but also you are going to study, to learn new skills, like a student, okay? To try something new. It's about curiosity, okay? And about your love life, definitely I see you getting pregnant in the near future. And I really feel like you are dealing with someone very different from you. And it's a lot of passion and attraction between you two. No okay. cat, this is your message, Gemini. Let's see. Message for cancer. What do we have for cancer? Whoops, whoops. Let's see this card. Wow, the emperor, cancer. Two more. The Amid cards and the Four of Pentacles, Cancer. It's very important for you to heal at this time, okay? With the Empress. You need to know also that you are a very good mother. You're someone very caring and loving. Your children are the most important thing for you, Cancer. But you are feeling lonely, you are spending a lot of time alone with the Amid card, or you are dealing with the Virgo, Libra here. Time for you to take action, to have courage. You are ready. For the four pentacles, you are taking care of your money, making plans for the future, but you are also very defensive because of your past, protecting your heart, your feelings. If you are asking for a job, definitely it's a yes. It's a card about abundance here. Yeah. Abundance is coming for you. You are ready, okay? Just be careful of your money. And if you're asking about your love life, first, it's going to be very important for you to hear where the Empress and the Hermit card. I really feel like you're gonna face a difficult breakup or separation here with someone. Take your time, okay? Something better is coming for you. It's in your future, Cancer. Cancer. This is your message. Let's see. Message for Leo. What do we have? Quick message for Leo. Let's see. 
eel. Someone is coming for you. There is a love affair coming for you. With the eight of cups, it's like you're not interesting. Let me talk in about a water side. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy. This person is offering you a cup of love and has a lot of emotion and feelings for you. But with the eight of cups, it's like you are choosing yourself. You're not interesting. You're leaving something behind. Because you are very intuitive at this time. You are trusting your intuition. For some of you, you are dealing with a Pisces, okay? And if you're asking something about your money, career, I feel like something better is coming for you, Leo. I really feel like with the Eight of Cups and the Eye Princess, you know exactly what you really want in your life. You want the best. I really feel like you want also stability in relationships. Just not love, feelings, emotion. Something stable, long-term commitment. Okay? But love is coming for you. And like it suffices. Or someone very romantic, okay? Open your heart again, Leo. Because I really feel like you are very defensive because of your past also. But it's very important for you with the Eight of Cups to leave something behind because it's not serving you anymore. Can be taking about also a job situation. Situation with a lot of stress and emotion here. You are going to let it go. You are choosing your own happiness, Leo. Yeah. And yes, about your career, something better coming for you. Okay. Can be talking about with the eye princess, a secret will be revealed, something important, but I really feel like something you already know, okay? Because the high princess, she knows everything, Leo. Leo, this is your message. Let's see. Message for Virgo. What do we have for Virgo? The moon card showing up. You are feeling confused. Can be talking about it's very important for you, Virgo, to trust in your intuition at this time. Yes, Cancer, Pisces energy. Time for you to make an important decision. It's like it's not an easy choice. It's like a crossword in your life. Time for you to see clearly what is the best decision for yourself. It's a decision about money. Stability. A contract, something important and good is coming for you. A new offer. Really feel like it's something very different from your past. With the moon card, there is also an opportunity for you to get pregnant, just for some of you, okay? Because it's talking about fertility. About your job, making an important decision. To have stability. Okay, and money coming for you. New contract, something beautiful and big here. And about your love life, I really feel like you're feeling confused with the moon cards. Or you've been dealing with someone and the situation wasn't clear. A lot of confusion with the moon. But if you're working on a project, it's a very good card about business. Okay, keep trying, don't give up. Vehicle. It's like a, a turning point in your life. You're choosing a new direction, making the best decision for yourself. Vehicle. Okay? Vehicle. This is your message. Let's see. A message for Libra. What do we have? we have for Libra? Mm -hmm. 
I will have yoga interviews even important message. Some good news. I really feel like it's about a job interview or something important about success victory with the ace of swords. It's like the truth. It will be revealed clarity. This message is going to bring clarity in the situation. Okay? Like you've been waiting for your feeling. Very exciting here. It's a lot of stress also. Because with the five of pentacles, it's a very challenging energy. The five of pentacles is feeling lost, left out in the court, ghosted by someone, facing difficulties about your money. No care. To some of you, you are a single mom, you're taking care of your children alone. It's very difficult for you. Libra. Stay strong, some good news are coming here. No care. With the eight of wands, you are going to receive an important message, okay? About your love life, definitely I can see you receiving a message from this person you've been waiting for for a long time. This person wants to communicate with you. Libra, and about the job, your career, Definitely, there is an offer coming for you. And I see you're very happy. It's you also very intelligent. Using your mind at this time. You can be talking about a job online also. You are going to receive an email. You can see an important communication here, back and forth. It's going to change the situation, okay? Take this new opportunity, Libra. Okay? Libra, this is your message. Let's see. Message for Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio? Scorpio, hmm, you're facing a heartbreak, a difficult loss, it's feeling pain, the three of swords. Time for you to be strong, to have courage. Communication is coming for you. With the Queen of Swords, honesty, true. It's going to be very important for your assistant, Scorpio. With the three of swords, take your time. It's important for you to heal, Scorpio. For some of you who have been dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aqualis energy earlier, okay? With the strength card, you need to know how strong you are. Compassion is going to be very important for you. With the Queen of Swords, you're also very defensive because of this situation. Really feel like you want honesty. True. Okay. If you are asking about a job, it's positive, okay? With the strength card, it's having courage. You can do it, but you need to, to be strong, okay? So Queen of Swords, I feel like you are going to receive an important message from a boss. Okay, someone very intelligent, honest. Can be talking about a job interview is coming for you, Scorpio. Okay? But you need to leave this situation behind, okay? Stay focused on yourself, on your career. Because with the three of swords, it's a lot of pain. It's feeling hurt about the situation. For some of you, it was a third party situation, Scorpio. But definitely you can see there is a book here, a secret. The truth will be revealed about the situation, Scorpio. Just as strong, okay? Scorpio, this is your message. A message for Sagittarius. What do we have? It's 
Sagittarius is your season. Happy birthday. Let's see what do we have for you, Sagittarius. Ten of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Two very good cards about abundance. And an important message here. Okay. For some of you, Sagittarius, you are dealing with a heart sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Like you have family and children with this person. Someone very mature and stable. There is a lot of communication between you two. And see stability here. Okay. For some of you, you need to spend more time in family, okay? Because the king of Pentacles is working really hard, but he's thinking about his family first. It's the most important thing in his life. If you are asking for a job, definitely it's a big yes, some good news about money. Okay, I'm coming for you. You're going to have everything you want, Sagittarius. Lots of stability for you and for your family. You can be also talking about a promotion. Some good news are coming for you. An important message is showing up here. Okay. It's a good message. So I should tell you, this is your message. Let's see. A message for Capital. What do we have? Whoops, Capricorn. You are rushing about the situation. Taking action. Quick movement here. After feeling lonely, sad, spending a lot of time alone, Capricorn. You are ready to take action in your life. For some of you, you are dealing with a vehicle. Let's see what's going on. It's an accomplishment. The end of a cycle. Success about the situation. Okay. For some of you Capricorn, you are going to travel in the near future. To move in a new place. So you're making plans for the future here. Let me take in about a new idea, a new dream. If your question is about love... You need to spend time alone to find a solution that I can see as the end of the situation will be successful, okay? For some of you, you are dealing with an Aquarius, a Taurus, a Leo, a Scorpio, okay? A fixed sign here. And I really feel like you are taking action here with the Knight of Swords. It's you moving, rushing. Take your time. And if you're asking for a job, it's a yes, but I really feel like you're going to find something in another place or another country with the world card. It's about the world. It's the end of a cycle in your life. Capricorn. It's a good reading. We have two major arcana here. Big change are coming for you. Okay. You are ready to take action in your life. To have success and victory. Okay. Copy, copy. This is your message. Let's see. Message for Aqualis. we have for you. Whoops, Aquarius, feel like someone from your past is coming back in your life. It's like a soulmate connection. You have memories with this person, Aquarius. Can be talking about an ex, a friend of yours, 
a someone is coming to visit you, it's going to be very unexpected. You are going to receive a gift from someone you already know. The person needs to travel to be with you. So there is a distance between you two Aquarius. Can we take you about a long distance relationship? This person is taking action to have success and victory with you, I feel like. But you are feeling very defensive, Queen of Swords, because you want honesty, truth, and communication between you and this person. Can we talking about your daily music council? We have also Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Okay. If you're asking about a job, it's a big yes, success, victory here. But I really feel like you are going to move, to travel, okay? Or oh, there is a distance here. With this card, you can be talking about a job interview is coming for you. You need to stay confident, believe in yourself, okay? Equally, this is your message, let's see. A message for Pisces. What do we have for you, Pisces? A quick message. Is a celebration coming for you, Pisces? It's a four fonts here, it's a Myers card, stability and relationship. Let's see. We have it's a five of fonts, Pisces. I feel like it was a fight, a conflict between you and someone, Pisces. But definitely, this person wants to find a solution and wants. To be with you, ten of pentacles, this stability and relationship. With the five of wands, the best you can do, Pisces, is to collaborate with this person, okay? To have stability. For some of you, Pisces, in the new future, I see you getting married with this person, okay? I really feel like he's talking about a reconciliation. After a fight, stability again, okay? Like you're not giving up in this connection. For some of you, you are already married with this person. Okay, Pisces. If you're asking for a job, it's going to be yours. But there is a lot of competition. Okay? With the five of wands. Like you're not alone in this situation. But it's success, abundance. With the Ten of Pentacles. And I see you're celebrating something important here. Celebrating your success. With the Four of Wands. It's a big celebration coming for you. With your family, in your home. It is also talking about freedom. Okay. It's like a challenging message. But at the end, everything is okay. Pisces, this is your reading. Thank you so much for all of you to watching to support my channel. I love you so much. Thank you. Bye.